Hey guys, what's up? So I just wanted to do a pretty quick video showing you my Animal Crossing planner. Yes, um, I bought Animal Crossing very recently and fell in love. I am obsessed. I can't even say low key. Like I am obsessed with the game. I think about it all the time. I just want to play it all the time. I think it's super fun. Um, I've never played Animal Crossing before New Horizons, so I don't know. I'm really into it, and I've only been playing currently for like four days, I think, and I just love it. So the planner that I'm using is this. I think it's a personal sized. It's from Mommy Lay. It was um like a mystery box a few years ago. And I've tried to use this for other things. And I just don't think like traveler's notebooks really work for me in a like day-to-day -day planner sense, which is funny because this is technically like a daily planner for Animal Crossing. But um, putting just like actual plans into it and it just doesn't really work for me. So I'm really excited. Um, this does work for me now. So it's so cute. It's this little, um, like I said, a personal size traveler's notebook. I thought the llamas and the cactus was really funny and like kind of goes with Animal Crossing. It's pink and it has pink elastic. Um, yeah. So I have had this for a while, like I said, a few years since it came out and I decorated it when it came out a couple years ago with all of the stuff that came in the Mommy Lay box. Um, but I'm just going to keep it as is. I might add Animal Crossing paper clips or charms, die cuts, whatever, if I get those in. But currently I just have this little notepad over here with the llama on it. Uh, this avocado, um, oh my goodness, little, <laughs> this little avocado card and some paper. This is like a, a dashboard type thing that I bought a couple of years ago. This acetate is silver foiled and it came in the box and then here are the inserts that I created. So I spent all day working on these inserts. It probably should not have taken me all day, but I was using a program that I've used before in the past, but that was in the past. Uh, so I do have this paper. This is just from a Michaels paper pack, one of their like hot buy $20 paper packs and using a gray mild liner. I just lettered. Discovery Island, that's the name of my island, Discovery Island. Uh, I wanted something Disney, but I also think it's cute because I'm discovering things. So I open it up and this is just like an extra page that is just there. Uh, but I made these like Dutch door inserts and I'm really pleased with them. I like tore up the edge trying to cut it, but it really doesn't bother me that much. So how I created this is at the top, I have my habit trackers. I have four habit trackers um, on each side. If I decide that I need more room, I can always take a ruler and like mark one in half, whatever I wanna do, but that is what I'm trying to do every single day. I did do a week of, so that way I can know exactly when I was doing this. And then I just have some notes pages, so I can kind of journal about my island, what happened that week. Um, I don't know that I'll really use it as like a journaling area, maybe more for like a little notes area, just because I do go more in depth into journaling on these days. So we do start out with this week page. Obviously, there's nothing written there. I did just start this week though. Monday and Tuesday are blank because I did not buy the game until Wednesday evening. So I'm just writing in like little things that I did that day. On Wednesday, I moved to Discovery. I placed all of the tents. I placed mine and my residence tents. Um, I placed Blathers tents and I caught lots of bugs, fish, and dug up fossils. On Thursday, I paid off my tent and I got a house. I was able to place the Nook Cranny. I bought some Nook Miles tickets three of them. On Friday, um, I messed up on the dates too. I'm so annoyed. On Friday, I opened up the museum. Uh, my nephew made his little person. I don't know what they're called. Resident, I guess. Um, so he's on my island. I placed a bridge. I placed three homes for new residents. So I don't know. I just did a lot of fun stuff. I went to my first island. 
by Do via Dodo Code, um, which was really exciting, and I'm really happy. It was a really nice island. Her island was beautiful, and she was super friendly. Um, I have this app, and I think it's called, like, Dodo Codes, or I don't even know what it's called. Um, but it's really nice because you can just find Dodo Codes, but a lot of times people are like, bring me Nook Mile tickets, or bring me 5,000 bells, or, you know, like, they just want stuff, and I just want to go and visit islands and, like, maybe pick up some fruit if you have some extra fruit. I really just want to see what other people are doing, so she was super nice. I loved her island, and she was having a meteor shower that night, so I was able to wish on a bunch of stars, and I got some star fragments, and it was so nice. Um, on Saturday, Mabel visited. I think, I think it was Mabel. I can't remember if it was Mabel or Sable. I think it was Mabel, though, so she was on my island. Oh, Leaf. He was on my island. I need to put that in. Leaf was on my island on Thursday. On Thursday? Maybe it was yesterday. I really don't even know. Um, I unlocked customizations and I had my first resident move in two days prior on Thursday. I got three people to move to my island. Um, and then it goes Sunday and then another note section. So I have a bunch of weeks like that. I don't know exactly how many. I did hand stitch this though, you guys, like hardcore. Um, so that's all this first one is. This is just like two notebooks. Again, this was set up prior so I have a little washi card and this little paper clip in here and just some more little cute stuff and then this section is called collections and how I'm using this this is a Justinia printables um I chose the personal size and when I went to cut it it was not the right size so I don't know if I printed it wrong or what but I did make it work it's fine um so I am using this to mark all of the fish, all of the bugs, all of the fossils, and just various stuff. Um, that If it's checked marked, then that means I donated it. There's the name and then how many bells it sells for. Um, like inside Nook's Cranny, not in the little drop-off box. But I have a few pages of the fish. I have insects. Again, same thing if I've donated it the name and how many bells it sells for. The pen I was using, the ruler, as you guys can see, I was just real done. I didn't even care anymore. So I have the insects, a few pages of those. Fossils, I'm gonna set up a little bit differently. I think I'm gonna do them in blocks. I really am trying to do everything like organically in this planner. I don't wanna go on and just print off a bunch of stuff or just copy down all of the like what all of the fish are and how many bells they sell for and where you can find them like I just want to do that myself so I did go through and I did write down each kind of fossil and how many pieces there are to that fossil uh, but I'll write them in as I go like I'll probably set up the boxes but I won't write in if it's a skull a torso a wing a blah 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 um, and I'm not gonna write in how many bells it sells for so I do have the T-Rex. I have the whole T-Rex. I just don't know how much the torso is. And I have like the Triceratops torso. So I have a few pages for fossils. And then various, so this is like different fruits, um, all of the shells, a wasp's nest, some of my star fragments. And then I just have a couple more blank pages. And I'll fill them out as I go along. If I need more, I can easily print off more. Um, but that is everything that I have in my Animal Crossing little notebook, little planner, little guy. I just wanted to keep track of some things and I don't know, I thought that this was a really cute way to do it and to repurpose this planner. But if you guys have an Animal Crossing notebook or planner or like scrapbook, <laughs> let me know what you guys have, how you set it up. And I would really love to talk about Animal Crossing because I am new if you guys have any tips or tricks or anything that I can do down below to kind of help along my journey. I would appreciate it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!